Good morning, gardening friends, and welcome to part four. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to stop belaboring the point that uh, this took longer than I thought, but we are mostly done. Um, it's actually a couple of days later because, unfortunately, as smart as I was trying to be about doing all of this and not overworking myself, apparently I did. So yesterday I woke up in a fair amount of pain of a prior back injury, and that was affecting me, so I chose to take the day off. Woke up this morning, pain, but then it went away. So um, I've been out of shape for a long time. I'm in better shape now. Uh, I just got to say, you know, go walking, eat a little bit less, you'll start to feel better if that's where you are. Um, so the plan for today is basically the, the uh, stones, stepping stones uh, or pavers or whatever you want to call them up along the top need to be reset. Um, I needed to get that tomato plant moved. Ultimately that's going back to its original home. I'm not just sure exactly when. Uh, we haven't actually talked to the person that loaned it to us. so. We got to get it back to her, um, but I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to reset the stones starting at the left and working my way across. And since we left, let last left this, I added a couple of uh, pavers that I had in here. You can see one just sticking up. It, I really made almost no effort, but I wanted to see how that would fit in, and it, it almost fits in just right. In fact, if I slide it over like an inch then it'll match up with what's here beautifully. And that would just be an inch going into the other end, overhanging that by a little bit. So I think I can make that fine adjustment. And ultimately, all of these will get set. They, they are only up there loosely. They look like they're pretty straight, but they'll look even straighter once I get them properly set. The problem is if I go up there and stand on top of them, they rock back and forth individually. So. They really need to be set so that they're all nice and solid. That's the plan for that. Um, if I had more time, more energy, and didn't uh, care about hurting myself, I would move on. I've got a mess here. i got a big mess over here. Um, I've got a pile of dirt there. Uh, I've got all this stuff. I've got rocks down here. So there are other things to be done. There will be more episodes with more hardscaping work, but not right now. My goal today is just to finish up this one area and maybe go through some of the pots. I got some pots over in the sun garden that used to be up here. I'm gonna bring them back. Uh, and ultimately, as far as this whole mess over here, we've got some spare pots and this and that. I'm going to get those. I'm going to fill them with dirt. I'm going to throw in some random seeds just to have something and put them all over here so I can clear them out of here. So this area will be a bit cleaner. Although, see now, I've got a gap here that needs to be filled. And that probably means I need to move stuff over. But as it stands and the buckets are there, you can't really see it. But that last paver... It's bumping up against a sprinkler head, so I have to figure that one out. I do have some extra bricks, so maybe I can fill in that way. We'll see. I'll come up with something, but uh, really, the goal today is to get this done. We're looking at rain tonight. i just like to have this done. Okay, I guess I can kind of call that done. Um, get everything set. It's not absolutely perfect. Got some lights installed up along the the top of the wall and kind of going down the sides and I was trying to figure out what to do the tail end of it I ended up kind of putting it up in the Nandina there so we'll see what that all looks like tonight when the sun goes down the uh, solar panels up there so it's got a decent distance it's actually half buried in the hill I kind of manicured the hill a bit yeah the tomato plants still there um, I gotta we'll get rid of that eventually but um, I think the next step is I'm going to move, probably actually move the tomato plant maybe over into that corner there because there's a little extra space. And then I'm going to start setting up the pepper plants where I had them before and just start filling all of this in with pretty much any plant I can put in. Okay, so everything is set and now I've got a bunch of pots in there. 
This is a little bit cleaner over here. I kind of got a gap here for looking out the window. Another gap on the other end. And I've started putting in the seeds, so I want to document what I put in. Um, some of it's really old seeds that may not succeed. Um, no pun intended there. Uh, so I've put marigold, some marigold heads that I harvested last year, so they should in theory be viable, but last time I tried to do this they didn't quite work. And these are the more orange marigolds. On the flip side, I got some sort of yellowish marigolds. Then I pulled out some California bluebells that I had and put some in that pot, some in that pot. Those were really old, so I'm going to throw them out, and we'll see what else I come up with. Okay, and now with the wildflowers that I still had from probably four or five years ago, uh, left the packages down here. So purple tansy in this pot. We had tidy tips in that pot. We got, there were only a few. Mountain garland I put in bigger pot. Uh, Globgilla in here, and Goldfields in this one. So we'll see what happens with that. And with that, I think we're going to wrap up. Me and finally, I can call this particular project done. This is the view from the window with the whole structure and a ton of pots in there but it just kind of helps clean up other parts. So there are other projects to be done, but I'm going to call this the end to this project. So this is the Budget Gardener signing off, saying may your thumb be green.